Anchor Enterprise plays two important roles in your DevSecOps toolchain. The first is notifying you of any known vulnerabilities in your image contents. The second is ensuring your images are in compliance with your organizational policies. It's important to understand the distinction between vulnerability scanning and policy compliance, as well as how these two activities are related. The process of identifying vulnerabilities is objective. It's simply a report of what vulnerabilities were found. In contrast, the process of policy compliance is subjective. Judgments are made about detected issues and actions are triggered as a result. Let's start by taking a look at vulnerability detection. Anchor Enterprise receives vulnerability information from a variety of public and proprietary sources. These information sources are known as feeds. Feeds are updated on a regular basis to ensure the latest information is available for vulnerability scanning. Anchor Enterprise compares the vulnerability information in feeds to the Image Software Bill of Materials, or SBOM, to determine if any vulnerabilities are present in the image. The Contents tab on the Image Analysis page provides a detailed view of the SBOM. Image components are categorized by content type, such as operating system, files, node packages, and so on. These are the individual items that are compared to vulnerability feed data. If a match is found, it is reported on the Vulnerabilities tab. The top section of the tab displays a summary of vulnerabilities for the image, while the bottom section provides a detailed list of all vulnerabilities that were found. Key information is included for each vulnerability, including severity, package, and whether a fix is available. Again, the information on the vulnerabilities is simply a report of any vulnerabilities found and no judgment is made about what, if any action should be taken based on these results. Making judgments and determining appropriate actions is a role of policies. Policies are sets of rules that define specific conditions and what actions to take if those conditions are met. There are three possible actions, stop, warn, and go. The stop action is used to indicate that an image should not be allowed to proceed through the development pipeline. The warn action flags the image, but does not prevent it from continuing through the pipeline. The go action has no effect on the evaluation process, but is useful for recording the results of specific checks in the image audit log. Let's look at an example. This rule matches vulnerabilities with a severity greater than or equal to critical for all package types. However, it only matches vulnerabilities that have had a fix available for at least five days. If a vulnerability in the image matches this rule, a stop action is triggered. Here we see a similar rule that applies to only those vulnerabilities with the severity of high. In this case, 20 days are allowed after the fix becomes available before the stop action is triggered. Note that policies and rules are not limited to vulnerabilities. Policies can be applied to file contents and permissions, Docker file settings, and other image metadata. The results of policies applied to the image are viewed on the Policy Compliance tab of the Image Analysis page. As with the Vulnerabilities tab, the top of the window shows a summary of the policy evaluation, including the overall result and the final action. The final action is determined by evaluating the aggregate actions of all rules matching the image. If any of the matched rules has a stop action, the final action will be stopped. If none of the matched rules has a stop action, but at least one has a warn action, the final action will be warn. Finally, if there are no matched rules with stop or warn actions, the final action will be go.